every one of us want to excel in life. We want to hear some praises from other people that we are good or even we want to know people see us great. But how do we achieve that greatness in life? What should accompany our greatness with? Hi, this is Apo Adman and you are listening to Apo Slayer at Anchor.fm which you can also hear at Apple's Podcast, Breaker, Google Podcast, Overcast, Pocket Cast, Radio Public, and Spotify. Today is October 16, 2020, and I am coming to you from Luntinga Gama, Natural Divine Art Shine of Healing Incorporated, that is located at the rising city of San Jose del Monte in the province of Bulacan, Philippines. Please stay tuned to hear our great topic today. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Everything is good, especially here at Apple's Lair, for another day has come to us as we open the gateway to our future. Today, we are going to talk about greatness. As I have said, everyone, once in our life, we want to achieve that status of greatness in our life. But how can we achieve that greatness to be in our life? You know, it all starts from being you. Yes, being you. Know who you are first and what you can do. But in doing things, also know why you are doing that thing. Indeed, most of us that we do a lot of things to other people or for other people just to solicit simple thumbs up, heart, like, and praise. We exert all our efforts and energy to make the things that we do to become beautiful in the eyes of other people and become praiseworthy. But in doing those things to other people so that they will praise you in the works that you do, you have forgotten to appreciate and reward yourself to the hard work that you do in your life. As human beings, we are a creature of the divine that is characterized to possess life in our body. And that life is characterized by growth, expansion, and progress that is characterized with action and movement. As we act and move, we learn. And from our learning, we obtain expertise and mastery. And by obtaining this expertise and mastery, we become great. Greatness is a state or quality of being great. It defines what you have achieved in life through the action and movement that you do. It is your personal qualities that you have developed for yourself that is not given to you by other people. The only thing that other people can do to you is to give you comment on the status that you have achieved. Some people will admire you for the qualities that you have gained and some expect they will become jealous and have envy on you but through your persistence and patience in doing things through that through time it leads you to become who you are right now but at this moment let us evaluate the things we have done in the past in the works that we do who appreciate us first who do we expect that will give appreciation to our hard work Who is in your mind in doing the things that you do? Well, this question can have many answers depending on the kind of work that you do. But to help you, let me tell you my own story. If you do not know, I am a Filipino traditional healer or manghihilot. As manghihilot, I perform massage and in healing. In this work of massage, the thing in my mind here move around in giving relief and satisfaction to my client as I perform my skills. In order for me to obtain that result of satisfaction, I have to test first my touch manipulation towards myself before applying it to other people. My personal standard to my treatment manipulation is myself. I try it first before performing it to other people. When it feels good to me, 
then it must be good also to other people. It is the same thing when I do herbal medicine. The first one to taste the medicine that I do is myself to check their toxicity if there is and if its effectiveness. Sometimes I also ask my family members to taste it for me because there are times that with so many tasting work, my tongue get numb and could not get the taste that it should have. But the main lesson here is this, that the work we do, even if it is for others or not, the first person who should appreciate our work is none other than, none other than ourselves. We must give value to ourselves first before other people people put value onto us. And your value depends on how you see yourself, depending on the work that you can do. Knowing yourself, your identity, and the things you can do is very important. I remember a friend that have talked to me last week that they have an argument on what business they will do that they will survive this pandemic. Their savings are almost gone and they must act to earn money. They are thinking of studying new skills that they can use in their business. Or they are thinking what is in demand at the current moment that they could ride on. In my mind, I think that they do not need to learn new skills just to start a new business. I also think that they do not need to ride on to what is trending and what is in demand to start a business. What I believe is that they should start utilize and employ their own skills that they have learned long time ago and start moving. We do not need to ride on what is in demand at the moment because in time it will fade away. So when it fades away, does that mean that you need to spend another time in learning new set of skills just to be always on at your business? Well, I believe that the things that we should do is trust our own skills and ability and improve it. Make ourselves to be in demand and not we ride on to the wave of what is trending or not. Let us use the tools that are currently available to open up doors to the society that they may know it, that we exist and we provide services that the community may benefit from it. Such as on November 15, 2020, our brother, who is the Deputy Chief Priest of Luntiang Agama, will conduct his very first workshop about the Si'ad Tala Mystic Oracle. And that will happen via Google Meet from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Philippine Standards Time. And also for me, Apo Adman, we are also providing our services at the Halloween Psychic Fair from October 1 to 31st. And by the 30th of October, we will also perform a ritual for the Spirit Conference International. People will see us if we just open ourselves to the world. The main reason we, why we are opening up because we appreciate and believe the skills and abilities we have that our community will benefit from it. Trust your inner self, appreciate, and be grateful to who you are right now. And that is all that we have for today. Thank you for tuning here at Apple Slayer. And if you have some questions, suggestions, and prayer requests, you may contact me at apoadman at luntiangagama.org or at luntiangagama at gmail.com. You can also visit our website at luntiangagama.org and find out our academy at hilotacademy.com. So until then, may you all blessed be peace. Mayarina, pag-asatin, 